It's Madden NFL 24, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Detroit Lions. All that and more coming up next. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Detroit Lions. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The ball on the tee, we're set for football, and we are underway from Ford Field. This fielded right at the goal line, and he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Right to the air is Jackson. This is Smith to the ground. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To about the 35, second down. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just float from his D tackle position in order to make that play. Second down and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Rice. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and six. Jackson, option right. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions 18. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game, and all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Again, Jackson will keep it. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson 
An 18-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, CD, that was a well-orchestrated drive by Lamar Jackson. Yeah, and how about the way he capped it off, too? Orchestrate the drive and then let everybody know exactly who the guy is on the field. You've got to watch on every play. Finishes it off with a touchdown run. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So the drive there took six plays, and it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So here are the Lions now as they get set for their opening drive. And leading them out, their signal caller. Now it is fourth season in the NFL. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure, and he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. That pass complete to Moore. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Operating from the gun, Lane to the right side, and he's got more complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Looking to throw on second down. Lane. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. So eight yards on the completion there. And now it's third and three. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter action now from Detroit. And it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 37. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now they run with 
Sims. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. To throw on second down. Lane. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Back to throw. Lane. The Sanders has got it complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Finding Sanders on the crossing route. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Again, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle complete. It's more. And the Lions are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Here's Sims on the run. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Lions are an extra point away from evening this one up. Boy, two long, sustained drives by each team to start things out. It's kind of similar to how the pitch clock has shortened baseball games. That means we'll be out of here quickly if we get a few more drives like that. We're in the second quarter now, and we've only had one drive apiece, each of which have ended with touchdowns. Extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Baltimore's set to take over here for their second possession of the game. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Second down and four. Throwing is Jackson. Throw left side complete. That's Mason. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. 
All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And now they start in plus territory following that turnover as he'll try to get some points here before halftime. Draw play to Sims. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. Looking to throw on second down. Lane. And that's complete. It's Sims. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory even if they don't get it though. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Uh, first down, Sanders not finding a whole lot as he'll get forward for about three. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. The second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Off play action. Lane. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. A great play there. 28 yards. And the Lions will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And the Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Rice. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. 
And this time they'll just keep this on the ground. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. From the gun, it's Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as he'll get this across the 50 to the 49. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And this will be called officially a 66-yard attempt. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly report. been a fun Coach. one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And hey Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Off the play fake. Lane. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver Moore. And they will get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. That's right. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Looking to throw. Lane. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. Now they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that payoff in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. 
need to take advantage of those opportunities, and this is a good one right in front of them. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring us to a third and four. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Jackson. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there. A big pickup on third down. They'll come out in the pistol. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And they'll take it into the end zone for a race touchdown Lamar Jackson his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Ravens are within an extra point of tying up this ball game so the lanes continue to be there for Lamar Jackson to run that football that his second touchdown run of the game you know what I would like I'd like for us to be able to go into a defense's room after playing Lamar Jackson and watch the tape and see how much of a lane was really there and how much he created just through his talents. In any event, Lamar Jackson finds the end zone, doesn't he? He always seems to, but that's a good point. We sometimes put blame on the defense, but maybe we just need to praise Lamar Jackson a little bit more. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. This taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And Detroit back in possession of the football. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. They go play action here on first down. He's going to air one out. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there for Detroit. 46 yards. When you get into the second half of the tie ball game, you start realizing that every play takes on a bigger significance. And this is pretty significant right here. This is where you start putting the pressure on that secondary. And that's a job well done there. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Off play action. Lane looking for Perriman, and it's intercepted. And the Ravens will take over possession here up at the 44. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, and he sure did. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker 
and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Third and three. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Rice. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. They go play action with Jackson. A quick throw there is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and ten. Play action. It's Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A great effort there. 27 yards. And the Ravens have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Well, the lost sleep that the defensive coordinator had all week preparing for this game, a good portion of it was trying to prepare for him because yeah. he's absolutely a phenomenal player. And a lot of times around the goal line, they know it's going to him. It's just so hard to stop. And that's where it really becomes difficult because you're exactly right. They know it's going to him, yet they still can't stop it. That tells you when you're a dominant player. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here's second and ten. To throw again. Lane. He finds his man complete. It's Sanders. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Quick completion here to Johnson. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. 
So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Back to throw again. Again, it's Johnson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. Back to throw. Lane. Sanders has it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 31-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Now Sims. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Here's third down at five. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. He hits more. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Point after try, forthcoming. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the touchdown and PAT mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. 
Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Well, just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and 10 now. Now Jackson. Connecting with Andrews. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and 10. Jackson. And he'll go right back to Andrews. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here comes second down at five. Jackson. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got him. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 32-yard line. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So it's up now to one of the most accurate kickers in NFL history, Justin Tucker. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And he got it! Justin Tucker boots it through and plays the role of hero. And joy will reign in the Inner Harbor as the Ravens have won it. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept